Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're talking multi board, Ender, multi board, multi board, multi board, Ender. So, as you can see, my multi board wall in my workshop or my little like play workshop is still not done. I've been now going on this, I think, two months. It is way more involved than I thought it was going to be. And why? Well, probably because I can't just let good be. I got to make good better. At least I think I have to. Um, so I have been playing with um, the my 3D printers, trying to get a better print. When if I just let, come over here, turn this light on. Uh, if I had let this printer, my original Ender 3 Pro, just be my Ender 3 Pro, I would have been okay. It would have taken me a while, but I would be approaching the done stage. All right. Um, I was using it. I I was like, oh, let me, uh, you know, let me put in this direct extruder. It's going to make things better. Right? I've had nothing but problems with, I don't know if you can see it coming close there, like right there. I've had nothing but problems with stringing and little nibs on it. It has not made things better. My original Bowden tube setup worked fine. And yeah, I should have just stuck with it. Um, but I didn't. And so now here we are. So anyway, as you can see, come back over here with me. I have tried to dial in this, which also has been giving me problems, right? Because this, I put the <laughs> I put the direct extruder on. Um, I put the dual Z-axis, all that good stuff. I put on a PEI plate, all in hopes of making these give me better quality. I have even changed the PLA because I was like, oh, maybe it's the PLA doing it to me. Yeah, that has not helped. Um, my original, let me see here if I can find one. Nope. But let's take a look here. I don't know if you can see up close. See some strings. That's not it. Let's see here. Like, I think this is one of the original ones. Clean. Nothing on it. It was great. Things were good. I have printed temp tower after temp tower after retraction tower. I've done this a million times. Let me tell you over here. This is what was happening. You can see all the little nibs and all that. I got frustrated, broke it. Um, I have watched online after online. Whew. So I am behind the eight ball, right? Um, so what I've, I, I think I've just given up and I'm going with a print that's going to have little strings on it that I'm going to have to cut off and prep to put on the wall because I do need this done. But in the meantime, while I was frustrated with all of that, I set up which I just took down, I had my multi-board going across and I realized that when I got to the end over here, I was like that. I was one short. And I was like, what the hell am I going to do? I thought about printing like a four wide and then a five wide. And I was like, well, that's going to look stupid because those are small. Um, and I was like, oh, I subscribe to multi-board meaning I can use the, uh, the multi-board generator. So that's what I did here. Um, well, that's what I did here, because uh, that's going to go around my light switch over there. But I also was like, oh, let me print a nine uh, across grid and see what happened. So I did one here, and then I was like, oh, I was doing that, that uh, switch plate over there. So I, I put it on this one. And it, as you can see, just fits on the Ender 3 235 by 235 bed. Um, I did have to, once it does the purge line, I pull up the purge line, and I don't print a skirt, and you can get a 9 by 9 grid on here. Um, I think if I was to go 9 this way, I would have to, I don't think I could. I, I think the only way I can do 9 with my current setup with the glass because of the clips is to go across. But that's fine, because I want a 9, and I want an 8 going that way. 
Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. Now here's the other thing I installed was this clip was this Sonic pad and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get the, I actually have to reprint that because I printed it upside down or I printed the little, uh, nib, you know, the little angle pieces here that join in to the next multi-board grid. I printed it on the wrong side. I printed it up here. It's got to be down there. Frustrating. Yes. Very, very frustrating. Um, so I got to reprint that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this set up. And I'm going to show you the difference between the Sonic Pad and just using the regular Marlin driven pad uh, that comes with the Ender 3, the Ender 3 V2 Neo, Ender 3 V, Ender 3 Pro. Here's the cool thing. That Sonic Pad can run two machines at once. I'm just not there yet. Um, I just tweaked my settings a little bit more. So uh, we're going to go ahead, get this set up. I'm going to show you this in action. For the 100 bucks I think I paid for it on Prime Day, it, I mean, it's a print that's going to take 14 hours over there. It's going to take like five or six hours over here. It is crazy. This thing goes so fast. It shakes my wall. My wife was like, what, what is that banging? It sounds like something's banging on the wall over and over and over. What are you doing down there? Well, uh, it's not what you, 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 well, you get it. It, it's not that it's my ender hitting the wall over and over and over and over. It was having a good time, I guess. Anyway, let me go ahead. Let me get this set up. Let me show you it in action. Like and subscribe. Watch this video to the end. Thanks for being here. Hold time. You upload it to the pad, and then it's going to process. Um, so while it's processing, I'm going to go get another cup of coffee. Hold on. All right, so we got our coffee. It really only takes like maybe 30 seconds, a minute for this to process. Um, anyway, so it's processed. Now, what you see here is you got your entire access to your uh, 3D printer. You can do things like uh, home it in. Um, you can change your speed, your flow. You can, I mean, you can really get into it. Um, I've got this on the default uh, Cura profile from um, from uh, Creality for this. It's called it's their Fast profile, and some tweaks to it. I, I've just upped my retraction a little bit to see if I can help those nibs and stringing just a little bit more. Um, I have ironing turned on. I have the walls changed. And I have the layer height changed. Uh, the layer height, I think, is like 0.15. For multi-board, they say to go 0.2 layer height in three walls. So that's kind of what I changed it to. Um, it does print a little bit faster. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, so what, you know what's interesting is, no matter what I do, I don't know if you can see it here, I'm playing with it off camera. I don't have my glasses on, but right there, there's two strings that no matter what the print are always there. It's got to be something. I hope you can see that. It's got to be something with the model. I, I don't know. I mean, every print has it, and it's weird. Like, no matter the print, it shows up. No matter the multi-board print, it shows up, I should say. Anyway, so uh, here we are. So we're going to go here. We are going to go to print, and then you're going to see it in action, right? Um, it's going to tell me up here, uh, four hours and 13 minutes to print this. Normally, I think that would be more like a, probably a 10 hour, nine, 10 hour print. Um, as it goes, it shows you the, the speed you're at, the flow, all that good stuff, shows you the layer. Tell me it's going to finish at 934. So actually, um, you know, it, it might be a little bit longer because you got to wait for the bed to heat and then the extruder to heat and then it goes from there. So I'm going to let this get all warmed up and ready to go. And then I will uh, bring you back. I'll show you starting and then uh, we're going to go from there. All right.
Cool. Uh, stick around. All right, so we've got the print started. It's been a long day, so now it's where a half a second ago it was 5.30 in the morning. It is now 9.30 at night. Uh, long day, very long day. Anyway, uh, got the print running. We're doing the uh, switch plate. And uh, let me just show you what's going on down here. As you can see, it all looks good except for right over here, this, 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 and this one. And I got some retraction issues through there. Um, everything else looks good. Uh, Clipper, uh, the Sonic Pad, which runs Clipper, is 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 running well. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do to figure out these little retraction issues and that adhesion issue over here. I really don't know. Uh, I mean, I've been struggling with this one and on my other one, my other ender as well. But we're going to let it go for a little while, do a couple layers, and see how it goes. I will bring you back when this thing really ramps up in speed, because the first couple layers are not that fast. Right now, you can see we're running at 60 millimeters a second. Um, it's going to take us five hours, it looks like. But that's going to jump around. That's going to that's going to come down once that speed goes up. Um, I did just front front huh, finish a side tile on my other Ender, my Ender Three Pro um, that used to print great, and then I messed with it, and now I've got, as you can see right through there, some stringing, some nibs. I mean, this stuff comes right off. It's got to be a setting. I mean, it really does. Because once I clean it up, and I'm just using my finger now. Once I clean it up, it looks great. So, something's going on. I don't know what. Hopefully I can figure it out. But anyway, um, hang tight. You know, like a half a second tight. Because I'm going to pause this and, and bring you back in a couple layers and see what's going on. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, a little over 10 minutes, we're back. You could see where I had that issue, it kind of just filled it in. Um, I don't like that. I, I'm going to work on, I'm going to check the bed level uh, again. I'll super clean this PEI plate the best I can. And, uh, you know, see if it happens on the next one. Again, that damn stringing right there and those few little nibs, that's going to drive me nuts. Um, it really is. Anyway, uh, so right now, um, take a look over here at our screen. You can see that, oh, it's a little crooked, sorry. There we go. Uh, you can see we've sped up to about, it's going between 60 and 200 in there. Um, my flow rate's jumping around a little bit. Tells me how much film that I use, which layer I'm on. Uh, the slicer says I got three hours left, three hours, 50 minutes. I'm 22 minutes into it, so I think it's going to take about four hours. Um, if you, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Let's see if we can hear. Let's see if I can get closer here. No? <laughs> can you hear that hitting the wall? My wife's going to be pissed. What's going on down there? Who's here? Nobody here. Nobody at all. Anywho, um, so yeah. So come back down here, take a look. We are printing our multi board on our Ender 3 V2 Neo uh, with our Sonic Pad, which speeds this thing up, you know, twice as fast. Um, I do have stringing issues, but I got that. Whether I use <laughs> the Sonic Pad or not, it's got to be the direct drive not being totally dialed in because on my Ender 3 Pro, um, it was printing beautifully with my Bowden setup, slow as molasses, but beautiful. Here and there, because I put a direct drive over there too, not as good. And maybe it's just not cooling. 
fast enough. I, I, you know what? That's just while you're here. Let me grab my light and make sure my fan's running. Uh, yeah, it's definitely running. Right? It's definitely running in there. I can hear it too. Um, what we're going to do is get, get a piece of paper here, see if it sucks it in. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's cooling issue. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like I said before, like, subscribe. <laughs> Stick with me as we, or I, try and finish this multi-board wall in my workshop so I can move on to the next step, which is printing all the little uh, mounting blocks and hangers and organizing and then dealing with that the train table ah oh, you know i named my boat it's always an adventure because just like that's always an adventure this is always an adventure hey this is doug does stuff check you later